Wakurugenzi mambo vipi? I hope mmekuwa fresh kabisa. Ah, pande yetu tuko sawa. Um, last week mzee <laughs> tulikuwa na na wiki moja heavy sana man lakini Mungu anasaidia mambo inaenda inakamilika fiti. E, tulipiga story ya mkurugenzi mwenzetu anaitwa Polycap Samora amuyunzu last week on Tuesday. Na wakati nilikuwa napiga hiyo story mzee ilikuwa ni kumtafuta tunamtafuta. Lakini kwa wale wanajua bana barely two days later e, tulikam tuka confirmiwa mzee mzima Polycap mzee yuko na sisi alielekea jo so wase wengi sana wamekuwa kinivutia wananiambia eh hey, mzee mkuru jo ulituacha hanging e, tuambie jo ilikuaje e, jamaa walimpataje nini wanataka tu get updates on uh, polycap story so jana uh, which was on uh, monday tare tatu tare nne jana ilikuwa fourth eh yeah, nilikuwa kwao e, mimi na kikosi yangu hapa kina katulea kina spikes na tukabonga na familia sana ni nini nini na wakanshon sawa eh, au wakurugenzi wamekuwa na sisi tangu polika papote i think ni, ni sawa na deserve kujua ni nini eh, iliendelea maze eh, in the hopes that eh, pengine itasaidia wase wengine wenye wako in a similar situation so hii wa down ni the final moments za one polikap samora amuyunzu on sunday 25th of september 2022 polika palingia mtaani mtaani kwao ni kawangware huko eh, ndio madhe na stay na siblings wake wengine akatulia mtaa maze mambo ilikuwa ina cartoon kama iko sawa kulikuwa na nini ya playstation hapo alikuwa anacheza cheza sana then eh, around eh, jioni jioni eh, akapatiwa shughuli ma vitu fulani na na madha apeleke apeleke mtaa so i think after hapo ali alitoka ma, ma jioni okay after dark akielekea akielekea mtaa sasa kwake mali yeye anaishi na na wife Mary so siko sure kama alifika ama walikutana tu somewhere kwa barabara ni nini ndio kukakuwa na kale ka confrontation kadogo tu unajua couple suko sana tu once in a while eh, then polika paka akajiondoa tena for some time Mary akajaribu kumtafuta tafuta hapo nini nini but ilikuwa usiku ah akaamua kurudi tu mtaa so apparently polika pia siku alirudi home eh, but akuingia kwa keja alipanda juu kwa rooftop akakaa hapo mazee paka asubuhi na nime discover ni kitu towards his last last days alikuwa anafanya sana hata hiyo on sunday after history ya PSPS kuna kona tu fulani alienda akakaa na akakaa hapo sana i guess alikuwa maybe kwa mafikra na nini vitu kama hizo so this uh, sunday ame spend yote kwa rooftop usiku eh, monday asubuhi ndio aka, aka knock mlango around 5 am in the morning so akafunguliwa mlango akaingia akaenda kwa kitanda na akadoze aya kulala akaamka eh, around mid morning E, akapata wife ame, ame anabonga na sister kwa simu i think alikuwa na nakumbuka hii ndio siku wife alikuwa anafaa ende hosi so i guess alikuwa na try kugather gather e, kikosi hivi aone kama wanaweza ingia hospitali nini nini e, so kwa hiyo story ya simu e, ni kama ikubamba kijana sana juu unajua mazee sangine wakati uko na mafikra mob kuna koga na some element of uh, overthinking So I guess alianza kuona eh hey, sasa eh hey, madam Jo anaita relatives hapa Jo na mimi nilikuwa nisha promise nda mpeleka hospitali rada ni gani so aka jam aka jam deadly na na akachomoka so vile alichomoka kwa keja hiyo around masaa sita saa saba hapo ndio sasa ali, alienda kupiga ma phone call i think ali call wase kadhaa kawa wili watatu hivi ndio eventually akani call mimi kitu kama around saa nane there about eh, but nakumbuka niliwaambia niko nilikuwa kwa meeting fulani so immediately nilitoka ndio nili nili call back actually like ni call ilikuwa some minutes to three if i'm not wrong so by the time namaliza meeting na mvutia tushaanza kuelekea huko ma 3:30 eh, tukaongea jo tukaongea sana for like uh, 40 minutes 40 45 there about 
tukapoteza communication nikajaribu kumpigia but siku anaweza get through kuna ile design leo washo alikuwa ameka simu wewe ukimcall inadai akomteja but ayu komteja anaona ukimcall so he's the only one who can reach out so tukaambia hapo na msupa ni sawa acha tu tu tumpatie time tuone kama ata reach out again which he did uh, at around 5:30 hapo ili to get a lot of hope by the way kuona ujamaa me reach out yo, sec- a second time ju deep down ilianza kuona yeah i think i think polika hapa ameanza ku change mind ujamaa anahitaji tu kuongeleshwa vizuri kabisa tunaweza mgeti round so niki kwa hiyo process ya kumuongelesha kaniambia in fact hata sitaki kupotezea time sana kuna vitu mbili tatu nataka uambie eh, wase wangu wa karibu eh, na tukimaliza mazee waambie na wapenda sana eh, mazee but imebidi tu iko hivi naambia pana kuna haja hizo story zote eh, akaambia acha tu nikusho message nataka uambiane so akanipatia message safi hapo ya 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 wife wake na ya mother lakini samu ya katikati hiyo phone ika katika tena but ilikuwa ni credit hata nilisikia vile hiyo beep wakati credit inaenda kukatika so nika try ku call back tena eh, of course ameka ile design so wewe okay, kimcall ni mteja but ile round ya ku call back nikatuma credit immediately juni lijua eh, alikuwa amenishwa kwa mahali kwa bush so maybe credo kupata inaweza mchachia So nikamtumia credo hapo teke teke maze na hopes za uh, at least ata, ata call back but maze tukangoja sana jamaa akuwa i call so that was on monday 26th eh, september so hiyo siku ikaisha the following day on tuesday ndio nilipiga hiyo story 27th nikiambia wasee maze kama kuna mse ako na information kuhusu jamaa tafadhali atuambie the following day on wednesday 28th usiku saa 5 ndio napata ujumbe actually before that uh, during the day on wednesday mchana kulikuwa na like a comment or two on youtube zili pop up wasio wakisema eh hey, mzee jo adao jo na jo matafuta huu jamaa but unfortunately bana imekuwa confirmed the guy is no more lakini sasa unajua tumeka hopes zetu hapo kwa jamaa deadly hakuna mtu anataka kuamini until tupate hii information kutoka kwa a credible source kitu watu kujua mazee ni kwamba one of the guys alikuwa ame comment hapo kwa youtube ni actually relative wa 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 polycap yeah, so usiku around some minutes to midnight ndio nikapata hiyo confirmation actually from very far Uh, there's a designer uh, um, friend of mine anaitwa ba- babu brand babu ali alitumiwa text na mtu akaambiwa ni aje e, niko na kazi inaitwa polycap samora na kuna story imefanywa about yeye na abel mutua jo unaweza ni hook up na abel so babu yeye akwa amesikia hii story kabisa so akanivutia akaniambia eh hey, ni aje nasikia kuna story imefanya nini e, relatives wa huyo mtu wana, wanataka kuongea na wewe kwani kuna kuna noma nikaambia eh hey, mazee ni, ni tricks kiasi eh oh, jamaa tuliongea na yeye mara ya mwisho na alikuwa yuko place fit sana then aka, akaenda tu off air alipotea tu so tuna try kumtafuta akasema okay basi ongea na ule relative usikie eh, rada ni gani so akapatiana namba yake eh, yangu na mi akanipatia namba yao jamaa tukavutiana ndio akaniambia ya imekuwa confirmed mazee polika pamepatikana Uh, ali execute your stuff alikuwa anasema so now just from the information tuliweza kugather eh uh, tuliweza kupis up at least his final moments from your time yenye tuliongea maze so after conversation yetu na polycap around 5:30 jioni polycap hakutoka hiyo place alikuwa so first of all alikuwa pale mali bypass wagena kami na join ngong road kuna a section on the left na kogani ni, ni ka forest tu lakini wase upita pita hapo kuna magari hapo chini zinaenda ku join bypass na in fact kwa conversation aliniambia aliniambia juni limuuliza poli kapo kwa wapi akanisho mali niko niko hapa karibu na bypass e, na una ngong road na, 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 na kuna wase wanapita pita hapa hiyo pia ilinipatia hope maze juni ilikuwa anajiambia kaa kwa mali kuna activity hakuna vile anaweza anaweza fanikisha by the end hizo siku mbili tulikuwa tumeka hopes juu mbaya sana mazee so 
apparently polika after tumeongea na yeye jo hakutoka hapo alikaa vile tu alikuwa anakaa chini anapiga mafikra zake the previous night alikaa kwa rooftop mpaka asubuhi so polika mazea kutoka kwa hiyo fore alikaa hapo chini hiyo monday the 26th mpaka tuesday the 27th at some point usiku i think alichoka akalala hapo tu mali alikuwa in fact akipatikana alikuwa na 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 vumbi one side so unaweza tell alikuwa amelala ile design ya wanaita gafitol position eh ako na vumbi side moja hivi so akalala mpaka asubuhi hii time yote phone yake iko hiyo design so unless yeye anataka kukureach ndio atakureach wewe uwezi mreach so anyone anajaribu kumcall inadai tu ni mteja niko sure alikuwa pengine anaona tu hizo ma phone calls zikiingia but ah, kawana tu kuna haja ya kuongelesha watu sahi So asubuhi Tuesday 27th ndio aliamka maze akachukua simu yake na aka compose text akaandikia mama yake akamshow I'm forgive na unajua ni kama ile suicide note alikuwa ameanisha anaandika ni kama aliandika hapo kwa hiyo SMS na akatumia akatumia mama yake but alikuwa ambiguous wewe eh, kwa heri poleni nimewakosea eh, I hope mtani forgive eh, bye So unajua mtu akikwambia hivyo mzee hutaki kufikiria the worst unafikiria pengine amefunganya tu virago ameamua tu kwenda kaunti nyingine or something like hakuna mzazi utaka kuamini jo huu msee anaweza kuwa bana anataka kwenda kujimalizia so vile hiyo message ilienda of course kila mtu anajaribu kumcall simu iko ile design haizipatikana hiyo tuesday asubuhi ndio jamaa aka, akajigadha hapo mbio mbio ile time akitoka mtaa akikuja hapo kwa bypass hiyo mande alipita mahali akabai kamba so alikuwa anatembea tu nayo mpaka vile aliingia huko kwa forest so hiyo tuesday asubuhi akapanda mti yake saa sawa akafunga kamba vizuri pale nini nini na akaji aka execute hiyo plan yake so hiyo ni around tuesday asubuhi so jamaa alikuwa hapo kwa hiyo forest until around kitu kama saa sita hivi saa saba mchana So sasa hii watu wameanza kupita pita huko nini although kama huko kin sana uangalie kwa miti ndani unaweza unaweza hata so wase wengi hawakumuona walikuwa wanapita pita tu wakiendelea shughuli zao nini nini but kuna kikosi fulani ya um, Masai actually ilikuwa Masai moja i think alikuwa anatafuta mamiti miti fulani huko kwa, kwa forest ndio akiingia kwa forest mzee na shanga eh hey, nini nini naka, kuna kitu na kaod pale mbele so akatembea a little deeper into the forest ndio maze akaenda akapata polycap ako pale maze so usually hiyo area ya forest waga kuna patrols za wale askari wa Kenya forest services so akaona eh hey, wacha nisi nisi, nisi disturb scene of crime wacha nitoke nione kama naweza pata anyone either police ama wase wa forest nini niwaambie kuna kuna situation hapa So vile ametoka tu hivi mzee atajaenda mbali hapo tu kwa main road anakutana na some officers kutoka kwa hiyo forest services na ni juu watu ni watu wanajua na juana hapo akawasimamisha akamwambia ni haja watu wangu mko salama eh kuna wale askari wenu huaga wana patrol ndani ya forest wako area au ma, ma officers wakaambia hapana si officers ati makarao like they work at the forest office eh, so waka oh, sorry So akamwambia ina mambo eh, twende tu tuonyeshe ni ngori iko wapi. Aliwaambia yeye mzee ni muhimu au askari wa kama kuna kuna ka situation hapa ndani mzee. So akamwambia ina mambo eh, twende twende tu show eh, au makopo atakam tu. So akaandamana paka pale mali wa polycap alikuwa. By the time wanafika kwa polycap sasa wananchi nikao walikuwa washaanza kugundua eh hey, nikaa kuna kitu hapa ndani. So wameanza kuingia huko ndani. Wa Kenya ni wale wale wanataka kumvua wachukue maviatu nini look na alikuwa amepiga si tafadhali so kwa hiyo process maze wale makarao pia wa forest wakakuwa walikuwa in the vicinity somewhere so wame wame, wame, kama, wame patana pale so ndio ile ku disperse crowd maze wa makarao waka, waka fire risasi moja wale wase waka wakaishi wakaskata wenye walikuwa na try kumsanyia na nini na nini So ndio wakaenda hapo karibu wakacheki wakaona jamaa ako, ako tu sawa kai ni kama hata ameumizwa anakatua ako, ako tu sawa yani in fact mama damo alikuwa anatuambia eh hey, mzee 
ujamaa ukikutana naye kwa street bwana unaweza sema ati kuna kitu ilikuwa inamsumbua alikuwa yani very well kept ako sawa boy smart sana so ikabidi wapige simu maze wakapiga simu eh, current police station so current police station wakakam i think walikam na wasewa hadi pia eh, hadi police wakakama waka process hiyo crime scene eh, kuingia kwa mfuko kujaribu kuona kama watapata kitu uh, nothing walipata tu wallet eh, wallet haikuwa na vitu mob ni id tu na i think kulikuwa na design ongeza ku contact mtu i think walipata number fly i don't know eh, so simu yenye alikuwa na communicate nayo hiyo siku yote haikuwa eh, vijana wao walikuwa washatembea nayo mimi tukiongea naye kwa simu alikuwa ameniambia kuna suicide note anaandika haikuwa patikana so i guess maybe aliona kuiandika ni nonsense kitu inaweza happen ni pote akaamua kuituma tu eh, kwa message na kwa mama yake na, na simu so hiyo haikuwa ipatikana yeah then um, makarao akachukua body eh, wakapeleka wakapeleka mochari na waka inform wazazi <coughs> kijana amepatikana mazee so actually nikifanya hiyo story on tuesday 27th polika pale kwa tayari ashapatikana e, ni vile before waende wa jaribu jaribu waite wazazi nini ilikuwa late e, uh, story ya mine ilikuwa ishaenda ya yeah, yeah, maze um story last week imekuwa imekuwa heavy sana story ya polika pilifungwa a pandora's box so now wase walianza kunicall e, wote mazee wako na tungori zao wote ma message napata ni mazee mkuru hata mimi nimefika mwisho at this point mazee mimi naona tu nichukue watoto wangu niweke kwa room jo tu washe tu jiko na si tuzidi sababu life imekuwa ni noma mazee tuli deal na wase wengi like tens of them naweza sababu karibu wase 50 wenye between your time na weekend walikuwa tu na call mazee ukisema vitu haziko haziko sawa but as a jua history ya polycap tulikam tukapata <coughs> ideas na informations zenye zinaweza saidia saidia wase eh, one of them being kuna namba fulani ya red cross wana offer free tele counseling na namba yenyewe ni toll free meaning <coughs> sorry meaning ukikola uchajiwi eh, na wako na professional counselors pale mnaweza kachini uambie shida zako mbonge so a good chunk of them actually i think pretty much all of them are say water when you try to reach tuliwapatia hiyo namba tukamwambia mazee as at now hatuna hiyo uwezo kabisa namba 2 cc professionals like atujui tunaweza kusikiza tu lakini atujui tu ku advise aje inaweza kuwa tu poa mkiongea na professionals so tukawapatia hiyo namba 1199 by the way kauko pale mtana una feel jo una need kubonga tu na mse professional kuna vitu una go through usi usijiwekee ongea na wase red cross wako na kikosi mzima hiyo kazi mazee so bonga tu nao E, watakusikiza ni wase wanajua kazi deadly na niko sure utasaidika man wa wow, so imekuwa wiki heavy sana but um, e, finally familia walikamo walikam to terms na, na situation vile iko nilikuwa kwao jana na kikosi yangu hapa kina Katulena Spikes e, mambo ni hard pale lakini wana wanangangana tu kuna kitu moja mazee nilikuwa naongea na one of the family members akaniambia <coughs> na hiyo kitu sijui kama hivyo ndio hiyo happen basi it's, it's, it's a bit unfortunate um alinisho normally suicide cases wasea watakangi anything to do with them so unapata ga mkipoteza mtu wenu eh, through suicide hata times zingine chacha i come through eh, wanasema jo hiyo ayo atuwezi karibia nyinyi jueni tu vile mta mtakimbiza mtu wenu so nili nili notice kuna ka strain fulani kako hapo kwa familia nikawa say wame wamejitoa but then tukiwa pale tulikuwa waselea sana tuko hata tumefika saa 3 tulikuwa wachache nakumbuka nikiingia hivyo jana niko na shanga eh hey, mazee hapa rada ni gani but uh, I, i think ni poa tu tu tuanze kuongea jo jo hizi vitu the feel vitu zingine si ufanya ziko habit and informed juu kuchorea wase sababu mtu wao ameenda through suicide personally ni make sense juu suicide si it's not a choice ni a mental illness na i think hiyo ndio kitu tunafaa to come to juu tunafaa to understand 
ikitu it's a mental illness ni ugonjo like hakuna mse sane anaweza kaa tu hivi amue wacha ni off wacha ni jiwe hakuna ni, ni ugonjo so mi ukiniambia ati sasa amta come through sababu mse alijiua it's akin to kuniambia sitasaidia mtu wenu sababu wako na kansa i make sense I make sense. The same way cancer inaweza kupata tu ndio the same way mental illness inaweza kushika. Hakuna msa yako immune to mental illness. Inaweza pata anyone. So nili hiyo story ni touch star danganya. So mimi nikamwambia Jo acheni mimi ni come tu hapa kwa wakurugenzi wangu. Niwaambie vile situation iko pale kwa grao. Eh budget ilishapigwa pale wana need kitu kama 1000 so tatu ya. Yeah elfso tatu ya kukimbiza mwili eh, all the way ku, eh, kitale na pia do kiasi isaidie meri pale eh, na mtoi sababu hiyo hizo siku za mwisho zilikuwa bit heavy on meri so even though aliweza ku deliver mtoto alikuwa amechoka sana so actually mtoi ilibidi abaki hospitali as meri alikuwa discharged like two days later ilibidi mtoi abaki sababu mtoi akuwa sawa kabisa na hata Mary Jo hiyo story yote mzee hangeza deliver the baby normally ilibidi aingie CS e, pressure ilikuwa intense it was too much yeah mzee so kuna bills za hosi pale kuna familia imeachiliwa wana need kupeleka mtu wao na hakuna mse upangia death e, kitu waga tu ina inatokelezea hakuna mse wa kwa familia alikuwa anajua bana e, e, on tuesday tunaenda kupoteza mtu So itabidi mazee wa kurugenzi jo to come through the best way we can. Eh um, chini kwa kwa the comments nda pin nda pin uh, the mpesa numbers za kutuma both ya family na na ya Mary sababu pia Mary anatuhitaji mbaya. Yeah so kamini through vile mnaweza um, kama kuna kitu una go through we mwenyewe hiyo namba pia nitaiweka hapo chini pigia wasee wa Red Cross ni wasoa true ongea nao jo Um, kuna kitu tu nime notice kwa hawa se wote wenye tuliongea nao a good 90% ni wase 25 and below a good 90% a good 90% okay sema 85 ni men so you already shanza kuni show kwa hii generation mzee yenye iko saa hii gen z tuli, tuli lose it somewhere hapo kwa maboy E, hapo kwa boy child tulipotea somehow e, ju vijana mazao wamepoteza grip na life kabisa 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 like na si ati nataka ku downplay she does some say but uh, some of these calls nilikuwa naongea nao na skiza naona okay i understand why this is a pressure for you at, at this particular time but i swear man probably hata kuna ngori zinaenda kukukumba ngori kuliko hii ni vile tu ujui maze tujipige tu moyo konde maze So I think tuna need jo kuongelesha vijana sana 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 hiki tu saima limefika it's a pandemic I think tunafaa tu tu declare once, in, once and for all ndio tuwekele tu resources maze kuongea na vijana jo vijana hapa nje wanakipata pata mbaya wameshindwa ku handle pressure kabisa Yeah so kama mnajua wase wenye wanaanda go through eh, vitu kama hizi wasaidieni jo na hiyo namba wacha waongeleshwe jo na pia nyinyi ikiwezekana ongeeni tu na wase Eh, wasewa wajue tu life imedesigniwa hivyo challenges lazima <coughs> hakuna mtu life yake inakoga smooth na usidanganywe na mtu ati ile siku pesa itakam ndio shida zako zimeisha far from it bro shida zishangi mabilionaire ndio walalagi si ati jua wapendi kulala mafikra yeah so tukubali life hivyo ndio iko tukuwe tu na nguvu mtu wangu ikichacha ikilemea ongea na wase na usio dao. Wacheni nifungie hapo maze. In the meantime tuangalie vile familia bana watapeleka mtu wao home mazishi itakuwa hii weekend kitale. Eh, I think wanatoka kesho on Thursday ndio wanaanza safari. Eh, Friday then Saturday eh, ndio siku ya mazishi. Sunday watu warudi mtaa. So anything uko nayo maze cha nayo kwa hizo ma pay bill na nini nini. To appreciate sana maze God our bless nyinyi wa true. Na maze hakuna Eh, if you wanna lisema hakuna mkatengumu mbele ya chai in this case mkatengumu ni shida na chai ni kikosi eh, ongea na wasema ze ongea na watu hata kama ni wa stranger 
Sasa zingine unapata gata strange ndio anasuluhisha ma problem zako hata kuliko watu mnajua jo. Wewe ukisikia tu umefinywa maze. Ongea. Usijiweke. Sasa wa dao. Imekuwa true sana. God bless maze. All the best jo. Adios muchachos. Peace.